morning. Welcome to Tiny Revolution. Uh, today we are on uh, build day 15, I believe, and uh, we've got uh, we've got a fair amount laid out before us this morning. As you can see by what I'm wearing, the temperature has dropped. It seems like March and April switched places. It's about uh, 54 degrees right now, a little bit of wind in the air. The sun is out, but it's not quite shining back here in our build zone yet, so we're just kind of hanging out. Uh, so what, what are we going to be doing today? Well, today we're going to be finishing up the subfloor. We're going to put our insulation in our floor cavities, uh, and then we're going to put our uh, we're going to put our subfloor decking on. Uh, Want to talk real quick about that? Our subfloor decking is uh, is an LP material. We're going to look at that a little bit later. But for our insulation, we are using Dow Safe Touch. Now, cool thing about this is. About, uh, about a year ago, we happened to be at one of the box stores and we were looking at insulation just to see what our options were. We came across this product. Apparently it wasn't doing so well in the store. So we got it for about 70% off for each, uh, each roll. It's a uh, Dow Safe Touch made with 35% uh, recycled plastic bottles. What's cool about it is, uh, is that um, you don't need a mask or any protective clothing when using it. It also doesn't have formaldehyde. It resists uh, it resists mold growth. Um, it's just a really nice fiberglass-free insulation. Uh, it's probably not the greenest product you can get, but it's certainly not the worst for your environment either. So uh, each one of these is uh, it has five panels, 48 square feet. So we're going to be using about five rolls of this R19 insulation, and uh, we're going to be filling it. Uh, filling it in to the cavities of our floor foundation and then coming back and putting our decking on. So we're glad you came to join us today as we finish up our subfloor. So this is Tiny House, how to put on your subfloor. The first step of course is to fill the floor cavities with your insulation. In order to do that you need to size your bats, make sure that they fit well within the cavity, fit snugly. Uh, we tried to do that ended up having to cut several pieces. You'll notice though a little bit of problem cutting it. The fiber constrictions were a bit tough even for sewing scissors. So dad and I are out here with the insulation trying to uh, get it into our into our cavities and as you can see I'm using sewing scissors because unlike normal insulation it doesn't want to cut with a box cutter or a straight edge or something of that nature even a knife. We even tried a serrated bread knife and that didn't work so here we are with orange handled Fiskars sewing scissors trying to cut the insulation without completely destroying the actual insulation. Some of the flooring onto the foundation. We've got most of the insulation on, uh, so it's time to go ahead and start putting this on. What we're going to start doing is we're going to start from the back of the trailer. We've laid four feet of insulation. We're going to put down some uh, some epoxy. Then we're going to put our ProStruct flooring down, and then work our way towards the front of the trailer. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the product that we use for our subfloor. Now this is called LP ProStruct floor with Smart Finish. Now, the reason it is so, or that it's called so, is because, uh, well, let's first, let's just talk about it. So, the uh, Pro Struck Floor with Smart Finish really kind of elevates the overall quality of, of outdoor structures, in our case, a non-traditional structure, with, uh, with a nice durable overlay for a really, really pretty professional grade appearance. I mean, this is what uh, people actually see when they come into your home. And this is a nice finish, so if you wanted, 
you know, let's talk about if you were building a shed or a workshop or something. This would be your floor. It would be your subfloor and your finish because of the treatment that it has and because of the aesthetic that it has. You don't need to add anything to it. Now, in our case for the tiny house, we're of course going to put cork flooring over it, but it gives a nice smooth finish in the meantime. There's no knots, there's no voids, so it really is a nice change from kind of your traditional subfloor sheathing or your traditional plywood sheathing. Um, now, this incorporates uh, a treated wood strand technology. You can see on the back that it is, uh, that it is like an OSB, uh, uh, oriented strand board. Um, but this incorporated, in, incorporates that treated wood strand technology with, uh, with Smart Guard, uh, which resists fungal decay and termite damage. Now, uh, it also resists warping that could, you know, slow down your installation process. And if you remember some of the pictures, you saw that I had uh, a stack of material from LP all on top of each other for about three weeks now. No warping, no bending, no cupping, none of that. It's a quality product. Uh, I'm going to get, uh, I have a measuring tape. Let me see if I can find that. Okay, got my measuring tape. I'm just going to measure this for you. You can see that it is just over a half inch, about three quarter inch in width, uh, which is a really nice width. And to go down, we simply put the factory finish edge, we butted it up against the other factory finish, and it gave us a nice subfloor. So again, this is the LP ProStruct floor with smart finish. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some of these sheets down. We're gonna take them to the back of the trailer. Like I said, we're gonna start from the rear. We're gonna put a little epoxy down, and then go ahead and get our subfloor started. <laughs> insulation in well we framed the floor put the insulation in the cavities then we put uh, then we put the subfloor down so here we are we are uh, ready to cover it up for a couple of weeks we've got some other things to tend to so we're gonna cover it up for a couple of weeks and uh, then when we come back we're gonna put up our plates around the perimeter and start framing out some walls so uh, yeah just want to thank you for joining us here at the tiny revolution